is in Rochester performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. But first, she's with us on Good Day Rochester. Look at that. Welcome. She brought her coffee. Yeah. And she's, she's all set. All jazzed up and all <laughs> that stuff. Uh, I'm juked. So how'd it go last night? It was really fun. So, yeah, I really love that. That venue's awesome. It's very nice. Yeah, room. everybody really says nice. that. Yeah. So you got a book out. I do. Ridiculous. I love that you know how to say it. Most people see it and they can't. They can't do <laughs> My it. My daughter is planning word. a wedding right now. Yeah. And then Norma got married just yesterday. It was her anniversary. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say in planning a wedding? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important for the bride not to be 45 minutes late oh, to the yes. wedding? Oh yes. I've done that for the last 15 years. Sorry, I didn't I mean to. Full of people. And I did they not mean me to late. bring that. Up, I'm sorry. I'm I feel like every wedding starts late, by the way. I yeah, don't think that's probably. weird. No. Okay. Yeah, right. What's, the book, what's <laughs> yeah. the book about, though? Is it about how ridiculous yes, it can be? Yes, absolutely. Um, I felt like when I was getting married, every book that was available to me as a bride was just kind of selling the fantasy, and mm -hmm. I wanted to write something that was funny and honest and saying, like, you know, it's okay to admit that planning a wedding is hard and yeah. that you might have family drama, you might have fiancé drama. Like, somebody needs to be talking about sort of the marriage aspect in addition to, like, cakes and flowers sure. and dresses. Yeah, your relationship can yeah, suffer if you're not more, careful. It's yeah. more than just an event. Yeah. And I think that people need to sort of talk about the fusion of the wedding and mm -hmm. the relationship. And, and, then of, the, and then there's a whole thing afterward. It's called the marriage. Oh, yeah, that, like exactly. For the, for oh, the wait, 60 that, years after that, that the, one day. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, and it, yeah. yeah, I think that I think there's a way to celebrate, but also keep it real, and that was kind of yeah. my goal with writing the that book. Sounds, I've got to read that. That sounds cool. Ridiculous. Out now, people can get it. Yeah, and it's an audio book that oh. I narrate. If you oh, want to cool. hear the oh, yeah. voice in Absolutely. your ears, a lot I of do. people have seen your, seen you, heard your voice, of course, on uh, HBO show Crashing yeah. uh, with Pete Holmes, who you were so great. You played his his girlfriend yes. in the show, um, and I I grew to love you in that role as a com struggling comedian. She's yes. trying to make a name for herself on the show, um, but then here you are, his girlfriend, but almost his competitor too, right? Yes. I think that what we were trying to showcase was that, like, comedy can really bond two people in a really, like, specific, amazing way, but then also two people who are trying to, like, make a name for themselves. It's kind of a tricky time in their lives. Yeah. Like, you're not really, it's not like your career is finished. It's yeah. just beginning. And right. you're trying to kind of make that your boyfriend yeah. as well. Yeah. So you're kind of, like, dating two people. You're yeah. dating comedy and the person. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what we're trying to hopefully showcase because yeah. that's a very real thing. You're married and doing comedy. Yes. Yeah. And married and doing comedy. Yep, my husband. He's in com comedy. He's too? in comedy too. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, it's so a very true storyline. So, are you ever in the same city life. at the same time? We are actually we were just in San Francisco together and um, when I was filming Crashing this summer, he was with me. So, yeah, we we do a good amount of like traveling together. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys is it always laugh laughs a minute when you tour together it, it, or is it, it like is a lot of laughing. He's just sort of quiet for a long time. Um, yeah, he he's something? he's uh, very much a character. He's very bro-y and loud and funny, and so yeah, I feel like it's a uh, it's it's pretty pretty uproarious household. I would uproarious? guess it would be uproarious. 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 We can look it up. We'll look it up Is later. Is that the word? I don't know. Uproarious. Guys, I'm making yeah. things up. Last That's minute. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the so the crowd was good to you last night, right? They were really fun. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was a Thursday, and I was kind of like, do people go out on Thursday? Yes, oh, sure. They do. Yeah. But I don't, I, I come here from Los Angeles, and I'm like, I'm freezing. It's only like 60 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool Please yesterday. Please bundle me up. Let's yeah. go to bed. Next time you come, come like in, there's a two-week span in July where it actually might hit 80. So you yeah. could... <laughs> Two weeks. No, I'm kidding. Just we have a summer. Beautiful weather. Yeah. Hey, uh, tonight, two shows. Tomorrow, yes. two shows. Comedy at the Carlson. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Jamie, nice Lee, Jamie Lee, everyone. And don't Ridiculous forget. Ridiculous is the book. Get Ridiculous. The book. Yes. Ridiculous. Yeah. It, it is. Just, it, it can be ridiculous, it especially can. if the bride is 45 minutes you late. You keep the talking about this. I'm sorry. I can not mean to bring that up. <laughs> Thank you for coming Thank in. You, Jamie. Thanks. So good to meet you. We'll yeah, be right back. You too. We'll be right back.